Le two, two, three guys to the left. Three guys to the left. Up on the hill. Yep. Got one. Oh shit. Got one. Got one. All dead. They're all dead. All dead. Fuck man, don't teabag me. What do you mean teabag? I wouldn't teabag you man, I wouldn't want my balls to get dirty. Hi guys, this is Matthias and I'm coming at you here with another AR-15 tutorial. I've made a couple in the past, but I felt like it was time for another one. One of the reasons being that I've changed my style a little bit since any of the last ones. The main difference is that I'm now shooting a lot more in third person view. Got him. Uh, nice, 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 nice. Oh, watch out! Oh, up on the roof, 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 rooftop. Okay, okay, should we kill? Yeah, yeah. Dead. So now one of the things that is probably quite surprising to a lot of new players when they first start playing H1Z1 is how weak the AR is versus vehicles. And it has nothing to do with being realistic or anything like that. It's just a question of balance to make the game as perfect. enjoyable as possible to as many players as possible. But with the AR-15, just like with all the other firearms, you can of course kill the players inside of a vehicle without destroying it. Alright, I'll take off my vest. Okay, one AR shot. Uh, in your chest. Yeah. Stand up. Yeah, 75 and a moderate bleeding. Yeah, because we are really close. Let's try from more distance. Before people see us. Yeah. So now with the introduction of the AK-47, it might actually be a little bit tricky to decide which one to use, assuming you have the option to choose either one of them. Now in this process of decision making, there's a lot of players that rely quite heavily on statistics. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, but only one of them hit. That's the weird thing. Uh, that, that was only one shot. I have 29 bullets left. It's As you can see, the damage per bullet with the AK is 32, yeah, while with the AR armor. it's 25. It's That's stomach? without body armor. Yeah, shoot. Yeah, my stomach. Oh, now my advice to you is to not blindly let tests like this decide your choice when it comes to weapon. It's much more important how well you feel that you can handle the weapon and how comfortable you are with it, one. rather than deciding based on numbers. One shot. One, one more. Oh, what the fuck? One more. Was that one shot each? Yeah, one shot each. Now, as much as I prefer to see the AR as a mid to long range weapon, it's actually quite good at close range as well, even though, in my opinion, both the AK and the shotgun are better in CQC. Good game! Normally at ranges uh, up till 10-15 meters I prefer to hip fire. When I do, I think one of the most important things is how you move and how you're able to maintain your aim on the target while strafing. And then of course you have those situations and those specific distances where it's a little bit hard to determine whether or not you should hip fire or aim down sight. A lot of these things are personal and you just have to figure out what works for you. Yeah, yeah, in front of us. Yeah, yeah. Towards five story. He's behind the stone wall. Still hiding there, still hiding nice, there. Nice, Mate. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Uh, he's, he's camping there? Oh, behind. Nice. On this last fight, it would have probably been better if I would have had the AR right away. I think this guy would have probably also have preferred to have the AR in this situation. Now in most engagements the way you aim is quite basic. You aim at the target and you shoot. Meaning that if that little white dot is on the model of your enemy, you will hit that player with at least one bullet. But it's not always that simple. Okay, me too. Uh, I think he was uh, north. Yeah, oh, no, I see him, I see him. He's uh, north, he's... He... Oh, two guys here. I got down, maybe? I killed him. Nice. There's one more. I, got... 
I killed him. Well, nice. Notice in this situation how as the player is moving to the right on my screen, I'm trying to put the aim a little bit further to the right in order for the bullet to connect. This is called leading, and in this case I'm actually leading a little bit too much with a lot of the shots. Now, this can be a bit tricky from time to time, but you'll see examples of this in a lot of my videos. Nice, good job. Yeah, I nice. killed him. So now the air is also very good at long range, but here is where things start to get a little bit more tricky, because now you also have to calculate for bullet to drop. Now the problem here is that you don't have that much to go on. In some games you can see the projectile and you can adjust your aim accordingly to where they are going. In this game so far you just have to feel it. Try to learn both from yourself and others. We are flanking left side. Kill him. Nice. He's splitting, he's splitting. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Nice. Wait for me. Let's rush up. Yeah, okay. Just moving into these black bushes. Oh, I think he died. I think people can come up. Something hit my tree here. I might just bring you. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's two guys there. Yeah, I killed nice. one. Good job, man. So yeah, let me slow down and zoom in so that you can get a better picture of the bullet drop in these particular situations. Also remember that understanding the game itself and the environment plays a big role in your success no matter what weapon you choose. And the more you understand this and the better you are at this, the higher amount of engagements you will be able to get that suits you, your playstyle and your weapon of choice. Now funny as it is, it's always been very popular to use the bushes as camouflage, but it doesn't always work as well as one would think. And keep in mind that if you would uh, try to shoot out from one of these positions, it's very possible that the bushes might actually block your view a lot more than your opponent, as you can see in these examples. Got one! So now I also want to say this, that even if you're one of those players who just wants to shoot and kill and you're, all you're looking for is the action and the adrenaline kick of the firefights, being tactical, being smart and understanding teamwork if you're playing in a team is still going to make the game a lot more fun and you're going to have a lot more success as well. And if you make a mistake, as we all do, it's not a big deal, it happens. But if you learn from it and improve from it, it can take your own game up to a whole other level and when it does, you're going to enjoy it so much more. Fuck, I don't have a... Oh, oh I died. What? Oh, really? I have no... Oh, yeah, he damaged me down to 5% and I died with bleeding. Flank him, flank him, flank him, flank him, flank him. Okay, I got him. So yeah, I hope this video was worth your time. My goal with it is that it's supposed to be helpful. If you're interested in any of my other tutorials, you will find a link to my playlist for similar videos in the description. Aside from that, there will be a few more minutes with AR gameplay in this video. And uh, I will say thank you all for watching.
Nice, good. Oh, sorry, I, I'm, no, I'm that's still okay. reading. Yeah, 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 just do your thing, man. Uh, oh, there's a guy up there? Or is that the dead guy? No, no, he's running. There's two guys, two guys in the gas. Wanna kill them? You're live? Yeah. Oh, two guys, two guys, two guys. Turn Where are you? Shit. Yeah. Oh shit, I'll, I'll, I'll jump out there. Oh shit. Did you see that? Right, I'm gonna move back up to the team speak. Oh, is that you? No. I'm not shooting. Kill him. That's oh, me. Me, me, me. Okay. I need to heal. There's a guy outside. Oh, watch out, watch out. Is that you? They are shooting me. They're shooting me. He's coming. Oh my god. I have a magnum. Yeah. One shot, one three. You fucking piece of shit. Do you know what you should get? Get right, get right, get right, get right, get right, get right, scroll, scroll, scroll. Nice. Ah, that's what you get, you fucking little wanker. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, be nice, be nice. <laughs> Just be nice and kill each other. Okay, well.